here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. Now that it is officially fall, it's time to put away the swimsuits and bring out the sweatshirt. Which means our dolls are gonna need a bigger closet. So we have put together some of our favorite videos. From shoe boxes to walk-in closets, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. going to make a closet for a doll using recycled cereal boxes, cardboard, large paper clips, beads, white paper, bamboo skewers or wooden dowels, craft paint, and glue. I start by cutting off the front of a cereal box, glue all the tabs in place, making a rectangular tray, cover with paper, cut strips of cardboard that are the same size as the sides of the box. Cover with paper, glue them inside the box going around the edges, then a few down the middle, dividing the box into sections. Measure and cut pieces of covered cardboard to glue inside to make shelves. Paint bamboo skewers or wooden dowels, then measure and cut them to fit inside. Take a paper clip, fold one in up slightly, then take the other and extend it going out. Bend it up, then using a pencil, I curl the top over to make hangers. For the wardrobe, on paperboard, draw and cut out a square with a rectangle on each side and tabs. Make small cuts at the corners, fold on the lines drawn, glue the tabs to the sides, cover with paper, glue a bead to the front, place them on the shelves to make drawers. Fill it with your favorite doll items, make more to expand the wardrobe, and you're done. Happy crafting! shoe box here that I'm going to turn into a closet. First thing I'm going to do is cut a chunk out of the bottom flap of the shoe box. Now I'm going to go paint it. And for smaller dolls, just use a smaller box. While that's drying, I'm going to cover a piece of cardboard and duct tape. And then I'm going to cut it into two thin strips, a medium strip, and a large one. Cut a slight curve on the corners, sketch out a fancy design for the top of my closet, cut it out, I begin gluing the pieces together. I also decided to add a little bit extra detailing at the top and a jewel. Now that my box is painted and dry, I can start gluing on the extra pieces that I just made. I'm going to glue some bottle caps on the bottom as the feet of the dresser. I found this really cool scrapbooking paper that looks kind of like a mirror and I'm going to cut this and place it as a mirror on the front of my closet. Now it's time to go to the inside of the closet. So I'm going to start 
by laying it on its side and I'm going to glue elastic string from this side to this side. Now I'll probably do a couple of rows all the way down. And now I have a nice little place to store shoes and other items that are hard to hang. And now it's time for the pole inside the closet. So I'm going to use this wooden dowel and I don't have the tools to cut it, so I'm just going to use it as is. I'm going to allow part of it to hang out the side, which will give me extra places to hang like hats and scarves and stuff like that, or even necklaces. So I'm going to first decide where I want it, then I'm going to just use my scissors to put a hole in the side of the box. Now I can push my dowel through the hole and into my box. So I'm going to put some glue right here and then some glue here to keep it secure. Add a couple of finishing touches to show your own style and you're done. Happy crafting! Welcome to Draculaura's Closet. This is our take on Draculaura's Closet. It is a room in a box where we use scrapbook paper for wallpaper and we use tool for curtains. We put two photo storage shoe boxes on both sides and glued a wooden dowel across with two buttons. To make the hangers, we shaved down pipe cleaners and then followed our hanger tutorial. To expand her wardrobe, we made dresses out of scrapbook paper and then glued them to the hangers. We made her a Monster High inspired suitcase from our luggage and suitcase tutorial. In the center of the closet, we placed a vanity from our how to make a piano and vanity tutorial. And we decorated the top with a few personal items like jewelry, lipstick, nail polish, perfume, and flowers. Above the vanity, we made three asymmetrical mirrors out of scrapbook paper. And in the middle of the floor, we made her a large round padded ottoman. And that is our take on Dracula's Closet. Hmm, what should I wear today? This one? No, the sparkly pink dress. I am going to make a tissue box and a shoe box for a doll using a recycled cereal box, scrapbook paper, a ruler, a pencil, tissue paper, tissue, and glue. I start by cutting open a cereal box. Using a ruler, I make a rectangle. Use the ruler to extend the sides, measure and mark the same length on each extension, then draw a line connecting the markings. Cut on the outer edge, make two cuts on one side, then turn it around and do the opposite side. I give it a slight bend to cut a notch out of the center. Fold on the lines drawn, apply glue to the tabs, then fold them up and hold in place. To make the box, apply glue, then cover it with scrapbook paper. Recut the hole in the center Fold the pieces back to glue on the inside, cut a small square of tissue, then push it up through the inside and leave just a little hanging out. By leaving the back open, you can pull the tissue out, then replace it later. 
To make a shoe box, I built the box the same way, only this time I don't cut the hole in the center. I trace the box onto another piece of the cereal box. Using a ruler, I draw a line around it that is slightly wider. Continue, just as before, to make a lid for the box. Cut a small piece of tissue paper, place it inside the box, followed by the shoes, fold the paper over, put on the lid, and you're done. Happy crafting! The next addition to Sophie and Chloe's house is going to be a large closet. We removed the window from over here and we're going to make it seem like the closet is that way. I am using another trifold, cut off the side panels, cover the floor with scrapbook paper, cut the end off of one of the side panels, cover both pieces with paper. For the large wall, I chose to cover one side white and the other in a light blue. Glue the large wall to the center of the floor. Glue the shorter wall onto the side to make a short wall on the other side. We take our doll wardrobe from a previous video and glue it to the back wall. Take the other panel of cardboard, cut it into strips to plan a design to expand the storage space. Cover with paper, begin gluing them into place. I like to use a ruler to draw lines so I know where to glue the boards. This helps to keep the shelves straight. I add another piece of covered cardboard to the end, add another one down the center, cut smaller pieces to go in between to make cube shelves. On the other side, I glue in shelves going straight across. Measure and cut wooden dowels or bamboo skewers, paint them, glue them in place, Unfold a paper clip to make a triangle, then lift up this curl and straighten it. Bend the side up, and this is a lot easier to do with needle nose pliers. Curl over the end to make hangers. Then place the hangers on the poles. On this wall over here, I was kind of messy with the glue. So I take some foil scrapbook paper, cut a strip, and glue it to the wall. Place sticker gems around it to make a full length mirror. Begin filling the closet with all of the doll clothes, placing some on the hangers. And for the ones that won't fit on a hanger, we can fold it and place it on a shelf. We place shoes on the cube shelves and jewelry in the drawers. To make a closet we hope is large enough for two sisters to share. And I think eventually we'll add some seating in here, but we'll save that for next time. And you're done. Happy crafting! Joining us for this My Froggy Stuff mashup, let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog, and we will see you next time. Bye!